Robertson found racing pigeons. James here. Hope this finds everyone doing well. Oh my goodness, almost happy new year. Can you believe it? 2023 is upon us, just around the corner. So, I know I haven't posted in a while, and I left you all with a cliffhanger. And one thing I learned from that video is some of my viewers don't like cliffhangers. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I'll try not to do that again. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to that cliffhanger today. We're not going to resolve that yet. <laughs> but here are the young cocks, the yearlings. I guess they are now. But anyways, a couple exciting things going on. Um, so several months ago, about six months ago, Sky Leader the company with uh, the GPS bands contacted me uh, with the sponsorship. They want to sponsor me to do some videos for them. And I told them I would. So we're going to get to that. Yes, we are. Not in this video, but the next. And I think you guys are going to be really interested in their new products. So watch for that video probably in the next week or so. I also have two other videos that I'm really excited about that have been in the works for a very long time. <laughs> All right, we are going to let these cocks out to fly. Got our yearlings going on here. You guys ready to fly? Let's do it. Let's get you guys out. These guys are looking good though. Most of these birds are 2022s. I've got two 2021 birds. That's one of them. Got the red band there. That's the other one. Max and Kevin. All right, guys, let's get out. Get some exercise. So do you guys ever wonder how the pigeons communicate with each other regarding the timing of flying out of a crate or flying out of a section of the loft so that they don't collide into each other? Kind of interesting. What cues are they giving each other that we don't pick up on? When we let our birds out, they rarely, if ever, collide into each other. So it's kind of interesting to think about those things. So I have not put my birds together to start breeding. I usually do that eh, around Christmas. And I'm a little bit late this year, but you know. So I've got these hens ready to go. I know they're ready to go because I've got uh, a set of eggs on the floor. It's usually a good indication that they're ready. So, I actually still haven't decided fully who I'm gonna pair with who. So my cocks, I've got my main breeding cocks. I've got 836, 278, got Purple Greek, Falco, um, Griffin. Who am I missing? So here are my hands. Who should I put with who? Let's see here. That one right there. That is Cantadora hen. That one right there is Lavender. Fat bottom girl right there. Let's see, oh, Aztec turquoise. Uh, that is the Cuevas hen, right there. And then we got a bunch of 2022 20, birds, or 2021.
one head in here that I'm thinking of putting up with, oh, it's that one right there. It's a late hatch out of Aztec, Turquoise, and Griffin. And oh boy, do I like her. She is just gorgeous. Let's see, where's Greek Iris? Greek Iris, where are you at? Oh, there she is. Greek Iris, right there. I'm trying to decide if I should put her with Cup of Joe again or with a different bird. You know, I only got to fly two of their youngsters, put them in the black gold race. One was lost and the other was injured on the 150 mile race, I believe. So I'll be getting that one back. So I feel like I really didn't get a chance to test that pair out. So what do you do when you didn't get to test the pair out, the youngsters? You know, do you just, is it time to mix them up anyways? Or do you go at it again, go the same pair and get their youngsters tested? That's what I'm facing right now, these decisions. Since I didn't fly young birds, I really didn't get a test my pairs from last year. So do I go with the same pairs or mix things up? I mean, for the most part, I like the way the youngsters from my pairs last year physically turned out. But I really didn't get a good feeling for how well they do in the race arena. That's Sweet 16 right there. Out of Thing 1 and Lavender. All right, put in the comments if you think I should switch the pairs up or pretty much do the same pairs I did last year or if you have specific pairings that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Should I do Cup of Joe with the Cantadora hen? Should I put them back with Greek Iris? Or maybe do a full in the milk in the milka and put them with uh, the Quavis hen here? What about Griffin? Who should Griffin go with? A lot of options. Falco is the one I'm really thinking about though. Who should I put Falco with? He was with Cantadora Hen. Now I want to switch that pair up because I got a couple youngsters out of them, some late hatches. Didn't get to test them, of course, but I'm thinking I might put Falco with this late hatch right there out of Griffin and Aztec Turquoise. Not sure yet. Let's see where does Tech Turquoise go. There she is. So she's a little bit of a bigger hen. So I kind of liked her with Griffin because Griffin's a smaller cock. So the youngsters kind of turned out nice size wise. This splash is out of Lone Star and Djibouti. That splash is out of Lone Star and Athena. There's that late hatch that I really like. Griffin, Griffin and Aztec Turquoise late hatch. She's a beauty. Here we go, there's the sign that my birds are ready. My hens are ready. They're laying eggs. They're pairing up with each other. I've been keeping the lights on. They're ready. Let's go look at the cocks. All right, so there's the little opening I made for them. Very small, yes, but it works. The reason I have it not on the ground floor is because I still intend to raise this floor up and put a expanded middle floor, drop floor down. Just haven't gotten to it. Time. It's a kicker. Oh, sounds like my birds are coming in. Here they come. Come on. Come on, birds. 
Come on in. All right, here's that late hatch I was showing you. A little hen out of Griffin and Aztec Turquoise this is 62. Oh, she's a beauty. Kind of on the smaller side. Nice wing there. I just like the way she's built. Packed with muscle. All through there. Great balance. Single pintail. Just a beautiful handling little bird. And that's Watson. Puffing and puffing, not me. What a beauty. So we'll see. It's always a risk when you put birds in the stock loft without having tested them. Sort of purely on their pedigree. But you know, sometimes I think it's worth doing. So I've got some small repairs I need to do in the loft. Got a few of these brackets that need to be tacked back in place. Using a little bit longer brad nails than the ones I used before. One on that side fell off. So I gotta do a few little minor things like that, but then we should be ready to go. Cocks are out, enjoying a little bit of sunshine. In the aviary. That little black one is out of Griffin and Black Widow. Not sure if it's gonna be a cocker hand. That one is available for transfer, just because I have a hard time with space for birds that I'm not gonna be using, either to fly or to breed. So, if you're interested, let me know. We got a uh, 278 right there. I think I'm gonna put him back with Marie Curie this year. There's thing one, strutting about. Got a cup of Joe right here in the foreground. No, that's not, that's not a cup of Joe. Pardon me. That's Tucson right here in the foreground. A cup of Joe is inside. Watson, leave it. Watson is still available for transfer. Let me know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you guys are giving us a good little look. Yes, you are. This guy right there, that check. Oh, I like him a lot. Really like that bird. I'm gonna, that's a big boy. But that check, you just walk in the back like that guy a lot. It's out of Falco and the Cantador hen. And he just handles fantastically. He's got 11 flights. So I think we're gonna breed out of him this year. So we've got big boy down there right in the middle. I really haven't done anything with him. I've only bred one or two rounds off of him and then sold them, sold one of the youngsters to Quintero Loft. So you guys may have seen some of his YouTube videos. They're very entertaining. And uh, those youngsters have gone on to breed him some really great birds. So Tucson. Right there, that black check. I think I'm gonna put him with this nice little late hatch out of Griffin and Aztec Turquoise. There he is with the red band of a black check. Yes, yes, oh yes. Here's our bird that flew really well for Abiel Pino and myself in the Tucson Triple Challenge last year. 
So we'll put him up with something special this year. There's that check I was just talking about. I need to come up with a good name for him. Not sure what it'll be. Maybe Eben.